you're listening to Inside Bliss with LaVon Kirkland. Everyone wants to be a part of something bigger. But not everyone will. Everyone has goals. But not everyone knows where to start. We are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Are not everyone. Welcome back to the Inside Blitz with LaVon Kirkland. I'm your co-host, David Wyatt. LaVon, you know, usnews.com ranks South Carolina students 43rd in their college and career readiness. And as such, many of these young men are being left behind. Well, David, our Bridge Builder program is dedicated to educate, empower, and encourage our students for success in their college, career, and life endeavors. Wow. Well, let's get to these interviews. Javaris, how you doing, my friend? I'm oh, doing pretty good. Oh, that is excellent. That is excellent. I see that you're representing already. Yes, sir. Got to represent. So we want to say congratulations on that. Going to North Greenville University. You're kind of around our way, so that's special. Congratulations on that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, Thank yeah, you. yeah. It's, it's an honor. It's an honor, you know, to be recognized for this war and just be, um, just having a conversation with you, you know, like I said, I heard plenty of great things about you. And, you know, like, like I said, it's an honor. You know, you know I was going to ask you an icebreaker and I probably still will ask you an icebreaker. So tell me just to boost up my confidence. What are some of the great things you heard about me? Well, I, well, I'm just oh, kidding. Well, of you don't have to say that. No, no, you don't have to say that. But I would like to get to know you better. Can I do that? Yes, All right. Yes, That's no problem. You ready? OK, here it is. Here it is. Uh, if you had any superpower, what would that superpower be and why? Um, if I had a superpower, maybe just to be able to fly. The fly? Because, yeah, when um, being able to fly, that just makes you think of Superman, you know? Okay. And Superman, he, he was, a, um, you know, he had a, uh, he was a great, he was a great person, you know? And, you know, he, uh, people, he was actually known for, you know, just saving people, coming to save the day, just flying in, basically to come to save the day. So if I, um, I, that kind of describes me in the um, in the instant, you know, just being the um, that person that, uh, that everyone looks looks up to in this community, mm -hmm. and you know, just basically come in, flying in, come to save the day. I would I would definitely say being able to fly. So, so you you're gonna represent hope. Not yes, sir. Most definitely. And being a Superman type hero. I like yes, that. Yes, I like that. You're not worried about any bugs or anything flying in your eyes or <laughs> anything like that? No, sir. No, sir. You're, you're good with that? Yes, sir. Well, good, good, good. Well, uh, I want to ask you what position you play and what position you plan on playing in college. Is there a, posi a certain position that you play that you're excellent in? Um. Well, primarily throughout high school, I actually played um, inside linebacker. Okay. You know, and, well, welcome to the club. <laughs> yes, sir. And I've also played uh, defensive line, too. So I was kind of moved out, you know, throughout my um, high school career. But I will be attending North Greenville University as a, um, a defensive lineman. And, you know, I, I expect to go in there and, you know, just dominate. All right. I like that. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, were there any other sports that you played in um, high school? Um, yes, sir. I did play uh, basketball my 10th and 11th grade year. I played most of my senior year. And I've also, uh, I competed in a weightlifting competitions. Um, I was actually a two-time regional champion. And I, I placed in state, uh, I think fifth place. And I was planning to go back to state and probably win it all this year. But due to the whole coronavirus pandemic, you know, that kind of put a halt on it. But, you know, yeah. that's probably about it. That's about it. Well, we want to congratulate you again on being a finalist. What would it mean to you to win our award? Um, like, um, it would definitely mean the world to me. You know, just being honored for it, you know, it's definitely just a huge accolade that I, I've learned, I've appreciated, you know. Like I said, I just want to thank you guys once again, you know, just for me being a finalist and me being in this position. It's definitely a huge honor, like I said. And not only for me, but 
for, you know, my mother, you know, and like I said, she's a single mother, you know, I have younger siblings also looking up to me. So mm -hmm. just knowing that me being in this position, it might put them either in this position over the next, you know, 10 to 15 years or even a higher position, because I know they're definitely look up to me. So I always try to be that mentor or that, that role model to them. And not only to them, but in the community also, because I'm de I would definitely say at, at Ellendale Fairfax High School, I'm definitely a mentor and a role model at that school. You know, kids will come up to me and say, hey, what's up, Javarius? Hey, Javarius, how you doing? You know, you got strong, you got big. I want to be strong right. like you one day. You know, and it, it just it just means so much to me, you know, and just um, we're being able to um, sign this past February, you know, them just saying, I want to be in that position, you know, like I'm be, I'm be just like you. It just means so much to me. And like I said, I'm, I definitely say I'm a definitely a mentor and a role model in the, in the community. And so it definitely, it just means so much more. And by me winning this award, it'll definitely just show them that not only I can do it, um, they can do it as well. Excellent, excellent answer. Really proud of you. Thank you so much for coming on our show. And um, along with that, we want to ask you, what are your career goals? Um, well, just, you know, just like every, uh, every other athlete in the world, you know, I do have, I wouldn't say it's a goal, but it's an aspiration. I, I yeah. definitely have an aspiration of being an NFL player one day, but <clears throat> You know, as a kid, I always loved, you know, I was definitely a math whiz. I definitely say that. Okay. A math whiz, and I love technology. You know, it's just something I love doing. Like, whenever there are, like, technical issues, my mother or somebody in my family has, even in school, technical, like, computer issues, you no, know, I would be the one to call on it. it. I'll fix it just like that in the gym. So I do plan on, uh, when I go to North Greenville, I will be majoring in mathematics and engineering, computer engineering. So, and I definitely see myself as a software engineer or a, a software developer one day. Uh, and I even see myself owning my own tech company, you know, it's like Steve Jobs with Apple or uh, oh. Bill Gates with Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. So even if I do happen to um, make it to that, that pro professional ball level, that's still something I want to, um, you know, go after, you know, still something I still want to pursue, you know, still having my own tech company. You know? So. you know, today's world is about the experience and the relationships that you create. We want to be your family jeweler. We want to know your special occasions. I mean, we want to be a part of that. Well, think about what love is. I mean, it is, uh, it is all things tingly, all the feelings that are part of love. And to be part of experiencing the opportunity for somebody to celebrate that. When somebody leaves this place with a smile on their face, that's my goal. That's what I want to see. So tell me, what do you like about math? Because I remember not liking math beyond 2 plus 2. Can you tell our audience, what do you like about math? I think it's just a problem solving, you know, like being able to go through step by step and you know, just uh, easily solve an answer and just not, it's not just solve one way, it's solved through many ways, it's different methods of solving just that one problem. So, I mean, it's definitely that. And I think it just comes to me, I wouldn't say, it, I, I would think it would come to me naturally, you know, so when I see it, I'm like, okay, I got to do this and do that step by step, you know, you just can't just go right into it. So it definitely takes step by step, and that's even in life, you know, you just can't go right into it. It, it takes, it's a process. So, right. You know, it's definitely a process, and you, I believe you got to trust that process. Even with a math problem, if you don't get it right, you got to try it another way, try another method. So like I said, you got to trust the process. So it's just like life. You gotta definitely have to trust the process. So that's how I kind of see it. So do you help, do you tutor people in math while you're in high school? Well, I actually wasn't I actually uh, a sign tutor, but you know, when, when people had math problems or needed help with their math homework, they would come to me, you know, like, Javaris, you know, can you help me with this, um, this math homework? Or just show me how to do this, show me how to do that. And I would definitely have no problem, you know, just showing them uh, a way to solve the problem or just helping them with their homework. So. Man, I imagine everybody must love having you in their math class because <laughs> you know all the answers. That's really excellent. Um, we want to ask you, is there anybody who was a big role model in your life? Yes, sir, most definitely. Um, I would say, well, of course, for well, my mother, of course, you know, mm -hmm. she's a single parent, you know, and she also has, I also have three other siblings she had to take care of. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she kind of influenced me to get to this point where I am today. You know, um, as a, as a, I think I was in seventh grade, you know, just, just to take this back, you know, um, I always told myself, I will actually see the guys, you know, Friday night lights, you know, that's, you know, everybody loves right. seeing that. I would see them, you know, like, okay, I definitely want to do this, you know, and then when I got to that moment, it just felt so surreal. So definitely when I got to that moment, it was, I made up my mind and my sister was actually coming out of college at the time. I was a freshman 
and you know my mother you know she had to help pay tuition and all those fees and you know and i made up my mind so i definitely want to go play college football because like i said it just feels so so real and i definitely don't want my mother paying for school and that that definitely worked out in a sense you know i said i want to go play one i want to go play college football you know achieve that dream and i don't i don't want my mom have to pay any any tuition any loans any of that so um she was definitely the biggest role model and biggest influence on my life. And not only, she definitely that pushed me on um, the football field, it was more so the, the classroom. That's what kind of, she was the role model. She was a huge advocate of education, you know. She said, that's something that no one can take from you anywhere, and that's definitely education. So that kind of pushed me in the classroom too. She was definitely my biggest influence and biggest role model. If you had a group of young freshmen coming to you, you're a senior, uh, you're doing very well academically and also on the field. What is the best advice you can give to your peer group? Okay. Uh, for one, like I said, uh, hard work and dedication, that's definitely what it takes. Right. But I want to also say, in a sense, like I said before, trust the process, you know, because I, I would definitely say last year around this time, like I was a virt uh, virtually an unknown, you know, like uh, no coaches were looking at me, but I feel like that that drove me harder, you know, that put that pushed me to a breaking point where I had to work harder, you know, be disciplined, like, okay, that's still not going to stop me. That's actually going to make me into a better person, you know, because like I said, you never know who's looking. Man, I'm really impressed with you. And I just want to thank you so much for coming on the show. We really believe in players like yourself, student athletes like yourself. And again, congratulations to being one of the finalists. Uh, we're going to wish you a whole lot of love, man. And we can't wait to meet you in person. And if you ask, if we ask you to come back on the show, will you be willing to do that? I'll, I'll, most definitely. I'll yeah. definitely be willing. Yeah, because, you know, I just think that a lot of people need to hear your story. And that's what yes, we're sir. trying to do. We're trying to get some great stories from some real life student athletes. So it is a pleasure and an honor to talk with you, man. I wish you so much luck at um, North Greenville. You're going to do well. And if you ever need a South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, don't hesitate to call us, OK? Yes, sir. No All problem. Right. No problem. It was, like I said, it was an honor just it was an honor just being on the show, you know, and I definitely appreciate you guys for uh, everything you've done. Man, we're honored to have you, and I'm just going to give you a bow. <laughs> Thanks yes, again, sir. man. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. You too. Anything right. you got uh, for LeVon? Any questions for LeVon? Uh, uh, not as well. You got a question, don't you? Uh, well, I want to uh, well, how was your journey? My journey? That's just one question. Yeah, your, your journey, you know, just from high school to college, you know, to the pros. Like, right. I just want to just... A quick, a quick summarization. That's a lot. Good question. That's a great question. You know, it, it's it's similar to you. You know, um, I'm the youngest, and I I basically told my mother the same thing that I was going to get a scholarship, and I didn't want my mother or father to pay for my my school, and that happened. I just kind of, I just really envisioned it. And when I envision something, it usually come to, um, come to play. So I would even give to you, uh, the advice I would give to you is, man, um, envision it. It seems like you've got a good vision about yourself. Continue to visualize what you want to be, whether it be football, whether it be off the field, continue to visualize yourself and what you want to be and be intentional about what you want to be. Remember, you have a brand right now. And you represent that brand. So it's up to you how you want that brand to be seen. So my background, similar to you, I didn't get recruited that high, uh, but I was determined to go to the next level. I was fortunate enough to go to Clemson University, and I had a coach that told me that he thought that I could be one of the best linebackers that played at Clemson. I visualized that, and you know, fortunately, I became that. So really similar to you. Wasn't highly recruited, but got it done now you go into that next level it's up to you to handle it right you got it though yes sir yeah you sir. definitely got it. it hey man we're proud of you yeah yes sir thank you thank, thank you I appreciate it. all right yes, sir. all right all right
What an incredible young man. What a great interview. Good interview, LeVon. I Thank tell you, you what, it's fun to educate, empower, and encourage our youth. We're making a difference through football. How do they get involved? Well, you know, we're more. it's more than football for us. It's making a difference through football. So if you want to join the movement, you can go at scfootballhof.org if you want to join the movement. scfootballhof.org. Very easy to do it. Join the movement. And, hey, stay tuned for our next episode of the Inside Blitz with LaVon Kirkland. Worlds apart. Minutes away. Where dinner begins with your family gathering. Where connecting with nature leads to connecting with each other where hundreds of acres of meadows and forests nurture your mind, your body, and your spirit. Riverstead, discover resilient living.